morning everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my march tbr i know we're about like halfway through the month of march but um i just want to talk about all the books i want to read i feel like i have a hefty book load but a lot of them are school related books so i have to read them um or i at least should read them so hopefully we'll get that done but yeah i'm just gonna jump into this video that way i can talk about my march reads i'm just gonna go by class so the first books i have are from my gothic class the first one being frankenstein by mary shelley this is a pretty thick edition um i have read been reading some of it i just have to read actual frankenstein in this so i actually need to read like some of it by tomorrow which i have not started so i need to do that but this will be a absolute must book read that i have to read this month and the next one is dracula by bram stoker i actually never read this book so i'm super excited because this just is something that i haven't read and i have no idea like i have the idea of it um but i have never actually read it so i'm super excited about that if you've read it let me know this is the edition i have to read the classics uh, or the oxford world's classic I, at least i think i need to read this version um but yeah i'm super excited to read this um hopefully it's good because i love the vampire i know this isn't like the og vampire story i know carmilla isn't even the og vampire story so i'm interested to see i feel like a lot of vampires get their inspiration from this or a lot of authors get their inspiration for the vampire from this so i'm excited to read it school books i have is for another english class this is actually i was supposed to have read this like three weeks ago i still have not finished it i am almost halfway through this is my next read like this is on top of my list i wanted to get this done by today but i didn't so this is top priority um apart from frankenstein of course but this one will be read i am super excited to read it um so i mean so far i've been enjoying it i know some people haven't but i i'm enjoying it so far so excited to see how it ends I have is life after life i actually have already read this one which i'm glad because it's so freaking thick i finished it yesterday um but yeah this is again for my class we're discussing it this week so that's why i needed to read it um but i will of course talk about this in my march book wrap up this one which i am super excited for this one is white teeth by zadie smith this was actually her thesis which i think is incredible that she wrote this book for her thesis i i have no idea what it's about but i know zadie smith is a very popular um author and like i said she was basically a child when she wrote this i mean early 20s um maybe mid 20s i don't want to assume incorrectly but yeah i'm super excited i have again no idea what this is really about but i know it's loved and of course i'm reading it for an english class so it has to be good in that sense um so yeah this is probably my most anticipated book uh school related book i guess last school book i need to read is brick lane by monica ali i have no idea what this is about um all of these are the past four books that i've shown are for my literature in london class so it is set in london or has ties to london so i'm interested this looks like it also deals with a muslim um main character in london i believe so i'm interested to see how that dynamic works because i know london has a lot of different um identities and so this is probably touching on that but yeah, I'm super excited for that. It was shortlisted. Whoa. Okay, that's awesome. So we know this book is going to be great. The next five books, three of them are books that I absolutely have to read. It is my goal to finish them on spring break. The first one being The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks. This book has been great. I just am annotating it for a friend. And so in my head, it's a little harder to read because I do want to make notes of it. Um, I really, I genuinely really need to read this. Like, super bad I just like start setting a time where i read and get this done this couple are also like i need to finish these because i've been reading them since the beginning of january and that is um jesus over everything i just need to read this in the morning i don't know why i'm having such a hard time just sitting down and doing it um because from what i've read it's good it's just taking me forever so i'm gonna leave this out because i need to read it the other one this is Den of Vipers. If I don't finish this this month, I think I just have to DNF it. I'm almost halfway though, which is just like, I just need to do it. I'm just terrified. I, I don't like this book, but I need to do it. So encourage me, please. If I get all of those done, the fun book, which I am anticipating it so much, I have two friends who have spoken so highly about it, is Out of Love by Hazel Hayes. I know this is a book that is a couple where they are out of love and instead of going forward in their love story, you're going backwards. So from them breaking up to them first meeting. And I just think that idea of love is so interesting. And 
I just really want to read it. I don't know if it's necessarily a love novel, um, but wow, I just think this is going to be fantastic. And I'm really excited. My friend Grace lent me this copy and my other friend Libby also really highly likes it. So if I get all of my books done, hopefully I'll finish this book. Also it's green, month of March, super cute. Um, but yeah, this is kind of all the books I want to read in March. Some I need to read, so hopefully I can do that. Fingers crossed, pray for me. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. Sorry these videos have been so quick, um, but I just wanna, I just wanna get them out to you. Spring break, I don't know if the video has been uploaded or not. Hopefully this video is coming before then, not sure. My uploading schedule is so messed up, but I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for like 950 subscribers. That's substantial. I'm so excited to hit 1000. That will be a huge celebration. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Let me know what you guys have read or are reading in March and I will talk to you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye guys. I love right there. It was really weird, but anyways, peace, love, bye guys.